I am Sankalpita and you are watching Book Geeks India which is a channel where I make book related videos. So guys if you like books, if you love reading, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, turn that notification on and guys please do comment because you know that I love it when you comment. So guys in this video I bring to you the book review of this book. I am showing you this because I actually read it on my mobile as well as my Kindle. So this is Risen by Cole Gibson. It's the part one of Blood Eternal series. Risen by Cole Gibson is a young adult fiction which has elements of both fantasy and horror. The book has everything. It has fairies, it has vampires, it also has magic. It can also be put into the category of a vampire romance or paranormal romance. Moving on to the story of this book, Charlie, who's the main character of this book, is not very happy. She lives with her aunt in an isolated cabin which unfortunately and much to Charlie's disappointment is far away from everything she cares about. So Civilization, friends and life. One day her life is changed dramatically when her aunt is kidnapped by the vampires. Until now she didn't even knew that vampires existed and now she has no clue whatsoever. So basically now she's caught between the desperation to get her aunt freed and her somewhat crazy feelings for a handsome vampire Sebastian. Caught between a brewing vampire war, Charlie needs to measure all her steps very carefully. In a world which is driven by love and passion as much as it is driven by violence, Charlie's safest bet, her only bet, is to put her trust, complete trust, in Sebastian. Risen by Cole Gibson starts on an interesting note. Just like Charlie, the reader also has no clue about the existence of vampires. The entire vampire thing is brought about slowly and gradually, which is an awesome thing. Charlie's story itself branches out into many subplots and many sub stories which are equally fascinating as well. Some of the most fascinating and interesting subplots that you come across in this book are the past life of Sebastian, the love story of the anima king Matteo and his love interest Rachel and many more. Moving on to characters, I absolutely loved the character of Charlie. She's a girl who, unlike the heroines of various other vampire novels, is somebody who's independent, who's stubborn. Of course, she's beautiful, but it is her independence and stubbornness which makes her different. On the other hand, the handsome Sebastian is a guy who the reader falls in love with gradually. Obviously, he's somebody who's very handsome, but at the same time, he's somebody who's also very humble, who's very polite, and there's a kind of intensity about him which made me fall in love with him. Moving on to the climax, the climax leaves the reader wanting for more. At the end of the book, there are more questions than answers, and that is something which will definitely motivate you to pick up the book too in the series. The only thing that I did not like about the climax is that it actually ended on a positive note. I would have loved it if the climax left us at a cliffhanger stage. Moving on to the entertaining quotient, I think the book is a definite entertainer. It is a fantastic book for somebody who loves vampire fictions and paranormal romances. So if you're out there, if you love all these things, definitely go for this book. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars in the entertainment quotient and I assure you, you will not be disappointed. Talking about what makes this book unique, now I have read many vampire fictions and I'm sure you as a reader would have also read a lot of vampire fictions. What makes this book different from all these fictions is that the vampires in this book are also subdivided into three different clans. So there is Anima, there is Corpus and there is the Mentes. All these three categories, all these three clans have different feeding patterns, they have different super special powers. And additionally, what also makes this book different is that not just vampires, it also has fairies, it also has a lot of elements of fantasy fiction. That's it from me in this video guys. Thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like, share this video and also comment down below about your thoughts on this book. I would love to know if you want to read this book, what you think about the review and what you think about the book. And also let me know if you have previously read any vampire fiction. I would love to get my hands on some good books recommended by you. And that's pretty much it. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.